Hey guys, what's up? So today I want to talk about people working out that have uh, disabilities and they might, they might be um, anything from paralyzed or just something that you have like a, a um, problem with, you know, a joint or a ligament or something where it doesn't allow you to move your body in certain ways. So the biggest thing is I'm not really going to be able to go into too much detail as far as working out because everybody's scenario might be different. So what I can say is whatever you're able to move, you should be able to work out somewhat. So whether it is, you know, a little bit of resistance uh, training or whether it's you using your own body weight. So, uh, so if you're, say, for example, paralyzed from the waist down, there should be a lot of exercise that you can do, obviously all from the waist up, which means you could be doing, you know, curls. You might be able to, you know, lay down and do some crunches or some sit-ups. But the really the, the big thing is just figuring out what you can move and then what can you can get into a good comfortable position to be able to kind of move your body a little bit, maybe raise your heart rate and kind of get some exercise. But the bigger thing I think with um, some of the, some of uh, you that might be you know uh, disabled is really eating well. I would never say choose between eating really really well and not working out or eating crappy and working out a ton. Um, that's not really the ideal thing. Obviously, you want to try to eat healthy and you want to work out. But if I had the choice to between the two, or you know, for especially for if you're disabled, it's even more important for you to eat a very well, healthy, balanced diet because that will keep you naturally thinner, slimmer, easier, and better to fight off you know, um, you know, diseases and sickness and everything because you're getting the right nutrients into your body in the first place. So really try to concentrate on eating better is what I would really focus on and then just figure out what, what you're comfortable with whether it's by yourself or if you are doing physical therapy or in a hospital or whatever just figure out what you can do with your own body weight maybe you have some little weights uh, or light weights you know in uh, your house or you can go to a gym work with a trainer and just say hey you know, I can't move this left arm or I can't move this right arm or, you know, whatever your scenario is, just try to work around it best you can and really focus on trying to eat well and healthy and that will keep you in good shape. Uh, lots of fruit, a lot of vegetables, drink in plenty of water and get the right nutrients in and uh, you should be really uh, good and healthy. Okay, any specific questions, you can leave them in the box below. Uh, like I said, everybody's scenario is different and circumstance is different. So we just always have to try to work with what we can and do our best. And that's all that we can really hope to do. So uh, we'll talk with you guys later. Hope you're having a great day. Okay, bye.